Hey, just a quick heads up, content here may not appeal to everyone. If you don't resonate with what's shared here today, that's okay. We all have our own journey in life, so please respect our shit and we'll respect yours. Welcome to the Own Your Own Shit Show, where your thoughts and your feelings affect your physical body. I'm Lisa, I'm from Beyond Balance, I'm a nurse, massage therapist, and a mind-body connection coach, and I help women to release the pain in release the stress in their mind and their body. <laughs> and I'm Andrew Coulter. I'm a doctor of medical health and homeopathy, and I'm the creator of the IOMA Healing System, which you can check out below. And today, we're going to continue on with our conversation. Uh, last time we talked about liver and gall and anger, and then, yep. we, yeah, we went on to anger and... Lots of emotions. Ah, exactly. And how, how anger gets expressed, whether we're consciously expressing our anger, um, or unconsciously through physical hurt and trauma and mm -hmm. things like that. Lots um, of different ways. Yeah, and you know, we can get into further conversations about trauma and mm -hmm. accidents and, you know, uh, yeah, that's yeah. for another day. We were when we were talking about um, anger and how we deny our anger um, as women, uh, it seems to be a big mm -hmm. player. And again, interestingly enough, I don't know the exact statistics of depression, um, but I would bet far more women are depressed mm -hmm. and chronically depressed than men are. Yeah. Um, I don't want to make that assumption, but uh, I know in my own practice that I, certainly women are far more depressed uh, than men. Yeah, and actually I was just, for some reason I was looking on this, the World Health Organization, mm -hmm. the WHO, uh, say that depression is actually the leading mental health illness, or mm -hmm. mental illness. Yes, that's kind of sad. Yeah, kind of sad. it is. Because what I'm going to share about what I've seen in practice, and then you'll share what you've seen um, mm -hmm. too, is that actually so many people think of depression as grief. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sad, you know? Mm -hmm. I, that's what I thought. I, I mean, thought so too. When I went through episodes of depression as a teenager and a young adult because life sucked, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought I was sad. Mm -hmm. um, again, because I denied my anger, right? And that was what I learned later on, is that actually depression is an internalized rage. So it's auto-aggression. So you become frustrated and angry about life, but you don't know how to express it or want to express it or deny that you're actually angry. And so you compress or depress the life force. Oh, and so, so depression is what I call the unlived life. You're not living your life for you. You're not honoring you. And that's really what this whole show is about, right? Is is helping everybody to recognize how how is my physical health problems affecting me? Why are they affecting me? And mm -hmm. how can I change them to be me? I just want to be yeah. me. Be authentic and yeah. choose for you. Exactly. And so, you know, looking at don't think of depression as being sad. Think of it as you're su actually suppressing yourself. Yeah. Right? It's true. And I actually kind of hope that that mar remark makes you angry. Yeah. Fire up. Exactly. Because we yeah. talked about how anger is the mobilizer. Mm -hmm. it's, when you finally admit that you're angry, which took me a long time to admit, mm -hmm. when you finally admit it, you can mobilize yourself, you yeah. can rally your authentic life force and go, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be that person anymore. No, yeah, it's a change maker. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I denied who I really am for so long because I'm kind of a weird, quirky person. <laughs> I like your weird, quirky person qualities. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and that's why we work so well together. Yeah. Because we both kind of resonate, we connect, and yeah. we really want to do this show to help you guys see that yeah. it's okay being weird. It's okay being you. Yeah. You know, um, so if you're feeling really compressed in life and depressed mm. in life and struggling with, you know, that, uh, we want you to kind of rally. Yeah, and start to just kind of think about what you can let go um, and just embrace all the emotions and all the feelings and let them happen. Yeah. You know, because anger, at least you have some emotion. You have some energetic movement as mm -hmm. opposed to just depression is... I'm unmotivated, I'm unfocused, I can't concentrate, my brain is, you know, just tumbleweeds. Exactly. Not much going on. You are. Yeah. Do you know, I'm going to share this with you, <laughs> I haven't shared this with a lot of people. Oh. But one of my first and favorite stuffed animals yeah. was Eeyore. Oh. 
and oh. I still have Eeyore today. Oh. And it'll embarrass my husband all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Eeyore okay. still has a place of honor on our on my bed. Oh. So when I make the bed in the morning and I put the pillows all up, Eeyore goes in the center of the bed. And at night when I take all the pillows out that we don't use and put them on the floor beside the bed, Eeyore goes on top of the pillows. Eeyore has been oh. with me since I was like four years old. He's looking pretty rough. That's okay. But interestingly enough, is as I got going through my own shit and with my own practitioner and stuff, and we got talking about depression, and, and because again, I denied my anger, so I was hurting myself all the time, or I was feeling flat and low and mm. humdrum in life. It wasn't until I read a book, and they were talking about the the, um, the Teo of Pooh, and it's all about <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, oh, and, okay. and how it relates to... All the different characters in Pooh oh. are different character structures of people, emotions. Yeah. And Eeyore is depression. Yeah. And I'm like, why did I resonate? That's why I connected with Eeyore for so long as a kid, because yeah. I was sad and depressed, but I was denying my anger. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So oh. think of ways in your life that you might be denying some yeah. emotional responses to things um, and how it's coming out, how it's playing out. How is it playing out? Tell oh. us. Tell us, like she yes, has some let things. Us know. Yeah, that's inter interesting that you say that because the other day I was feeling low, which is kind of it's not normal for me because I'm usually a high mm -hmm. energy, like anxious person. But I realized that what was happening was I was suppressing myself, just like you're saying. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't feel good enough, and I didn't do a good job at the, you know, the job that I was doing, and mm -hmm. I just felt like. Oh, I'm just not good enough for this. Maybe I should just quit and, you know, just let someone else be better and just take over and do this for me. Mm -hmm. And I had a good night's sleep. And then I woke up the next day and listened to some motivating music. And it was like, you know, just just own it. Just be who you are. And if that person isn't okay with it, well, maybe that's just the, the universe telling you this isn't a right fit. So mm -hmm. just... Be who you are. Just be authentic. Like own your own shit. Like get yes. out there and make some good decisions. And so, thankfully, it didn't last very long. But it was a very foreign hmm. feeling for me. Yeah. But I totally, I can totally denying understand it. it. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah. And yeah. that's what I, I. That's one thing I like that I think I've learned to it as you have learned is to self talk. Yeah. Right. Good. Is to learn to not get caught up in the negative self talk that you're doing, yeah. and or at least. When you finally recognize that that's what you're doing, you can change that. Mm -hmm. Again, we have the ability to change our own thoughts. Yes. The cool thing about being an adult <laughs> is... You get to choose. You get to choose what you think, <laughs> choose what you do, choose what you eat. Like, you get to do it. This is your life. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, think about it, you know. Um, again, there's lots of ways to pull yourself out of depression, mm -hmm. you know. Get more vitamin D, you know, get out in the yes. sunshine. Think more positively. Do get deep active. Get physically. Active. That's a huge one. It is. Huge one. People who say, I don't like to sweat, that's a load of shit. <laughs> you gotta sweat. You gotta detox. You gotta move things. You gotta get some Feel energy better. flowing and some blood circulating. And Yeah. You know, there's lots know. of good things that you can do for yourself. Exactly. And even if it's just watching funny videos or watching the bloopers at the end of our videos. Exactly. <laughs> it's always going to make you laugh and make you smile exactly. and that'll charge something back up. Exactly. And, and, and one thing, I, I have seen this with my own clients over the years is, you know, they'll come in and I'll be do it, I'll giving all these tips to break out of that depression and remedies obviously and stuff, but, you know, they'll be like, but I can't get happy. And that's a hard one yeah, for sure. Right. And don't think it's going to happen overnight. Yeah. If you truly are chronically depressed, there's lots of different things that you're going to have to put into play to get yourself out of it, but you mm -hmm. can get out of it. You can. Ask for help. Reach yeah. out. Mm -hmm. That's a big problem with this is because yeah. it's, we don't want people to know we're depressed, mm -hmm. right? And when you're so depressed, what do you do? You stay at home and hide in the Isolated. bed or yeah. I mean, watch TV and it makes sleep. It even worse. Yeah. Sleep is a big thing, you know? Yeah. So what I would say is get a little more active, get a little more out there, try to... Be attentive to your thoughts. Think, mm -hmm. you know, look for those things in your life that do make you kind of crack a smile. Yeah. Even if just crack a smile, you yeah. know. Um, but look look for help, for sure. Yeah, um, and reach out. And mm -hmm. even if you want to ask us, we're yeah. happy to talk back Love at you and maybe give you some ideas. Because we want to break that. But remember, it's not about, woe is me being sad, Eeyore. No. It's about hiding our 
own life force, mm -hmm. right? And let's me. break out of that. Yeah. yeah. Let's be wild and crazy and authentic. Let's be wild and crazy and authentic. <laughs> let's go own your own shit. And just yeah. Do whatever. That's right. Yeah. Just you know, own it. Exactly. And again, don't hurt anyone in the process. Like, don't no. You know, throw your shit onto someone, but. You know, get moving, get yeah. get doing stuff. Yep. Live life, because you only, this life is yeah. you all you have is this one life. That's and great. Make every day count. Yeah, yeah, right. For sure. So thank you for joining in our conversation today. We're so glad you guys are joining us and making lots of great fun comments and we're enjoying doing this and helping you to see how your thoughts and your emotions are affecting your your life and your mm -hmm. health. And we hope you subs can subscribe and stick around and hear more. Yeah. And share your thoughts. Comment below. Let us know what you're thinking, feeling. Uh, you know, if you are feeling depressed, just write us a little note and we'll get back to you. Uh, if there's anything else that you want to know about, hear about, experience or whatever, we could do a little episode on it and stick around for that. Um, and just know that you are the only person who you can control. Exactly. And until next week, be authentic, be empowered and own it completely. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to connect with us on your favorite social media sites so you can share your whole healthcare woes, wins, and other shit you'd like to discuss with us. Live in action. <laughs> one day only. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do all these videos in one day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's okay. Ready? Ready? Okay.